Hello, I'm Dr. Katherine Toomer, family medicine and community health physician and weight care specialist. And I want to talk about Oprah Winfrey because she's looking great. She looks healthy, she's glowing, and she looks fabulous. Not because she's lost a lot of weight, but because she's healthy. And that's what our body does. When we do things that are healthy for our body, our body goes where it goes, and we look good doing it. And that's what she's done. She's recently said that she used, has used a GLP-1 to treat her metabolic issues. She has metabolic chronic weight gain, otherwise known as obesity. And one of the things that happens when you use a GLP-1 to treat your metabolic issues is that it causes weight loss because it's treating the cause of your weight gain. Weight is a symptom, as I've said many times, of other processes, and these medications help with those processes. One of the issues we run into, however, is that we use BMI to determine if someone's obese or not, when the process can be happening to someone even when they're not obese. Even if they were once obese and they're no longer obese, that process is still there. The genetics have been triggered. They may not have turned off. And so it continues. So I wish we could also, one, drop the shaming of GLP-1 use, and two, stop using BMI as a criteria for whether those medications are appropriate. So I say well done, Oprah, and thank you. Thank you for helping us in the narrative, the negative narrative, the shaming that has been going on with GLP-1s by showing a perfect example of how they should be used. And thank you for telling the world so that others could have the courage to tell also so that we control the narrative and it's not controlled by others who have prejudices and fat phobia. And I hope that also this helps with the medical providers, medical care professionals to listen and look and study what these medications are and how to use them instead of using what we learned in an apprentice system, which basically means that prior physician prejudices and phobias get passed on through teaching because we learn from those before us. It's an apprentice system. It's an apprentice way of education. And so I'm hoping that this proves the process is metabolic. This helps prove that we can treat this metabolic issue and that three, that meta a BMI isn't always a great criteria for determining whether these medications should be used. So again, I'm Dr. Katherine Toomer. I'm stepping off my soapbox. And again, I say thank you, Oprah Winfrey. You have really helped make this journey a whole lot simpler and a whole lot easier and given a lot of people the language they need to get the help that they need. So thank you.